Hi guys, in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you the implode takes function. So what we're going to do is take some drum tracks that were recorded in another studio in another DAW, and I just have uh, four different takes and a whole bunch of drum tracks to basically do our comping and editing. I need each mic on a separate track, but I want each take on the same track. Uh, let me show you. So I've got a whole bunch of tracks I've color coded them so each take is a different color. Um, I've just used the labels function in OS X. So you can just right click and uh, select the label or if you have it in your toolbar you can see it there. I'm just going to grab some uh, some tracks, I'm going to import them, and then in the insert media option I'm going to choose separate tracks. They're all still selected. I'm going to go to Actions, and then type in Implode. And what we're looking for is Implode Items Across Tracks into Takes. Okay? So now those four tracks are now, or the audio from those four tracks is now on one track in separate takes. So we have three empty tracks. We can just delete those. All right, so I'm going to show you one more time. Got our snare tracks selected. Going to import those separate tracks. Um, I actually have a toolbar set up um, for editing, and uh, that implode function is in my toolbar. Click that, select these other tracks, delete. So I've grouped the tracks, and if I make an edit on one, it'll do it across all takes and, bo and both tracks. Uh, but what it doesn't do is keep the same takes for across all the tracks. For that, you can um, either lock all the takes, so make sure that both are selected, and then click on the lock, and then it, you can't select takes through the mouse. Um, I use this option for switching uh, previous and next in my toolbar. That's one way of doing it, which works pretty well for me. Or I just disable the uh, show all, or I basically hide all the takes and just do the, the selected take visible. And then I use a shortcut. If I'm comping uh, the drum tracks, then I'm just using a shortcut to uh, choose takes. You can see both tracks are doing it at the same time. So as I was editing this video, I was thinking, there's got to be a better way to do this. I can probably do it with a custom action. So uh, I spent a little bit of time figuring out, and yes, you can do it with a custom action. All right, so um, I'm just about to add it to my toolbar. So I'm going to replace this action with uh, my new custom action. Again, I'll just type it in implode, and implode and delete empty tracks. So here you go take implode items across tracks into takes. That's the one we've been using before. And now the Xena Kios SWS select tracks with no items. So that's basically going to remove the item selection and then select those uh, three tracks that will have no items on them. And then next action is track remove tracks, consolidate undo points. So it'll be one undo instead of three. Hit OK, select and close, and rename it to um, implode. All right, so let's see how that works now. So I've just imported those files, haven't done anything else. And hit implode, and there you go. That's much faster. All right, so that's my workflow. Just made it even better in the process of making this tutorial. Um, you know, that's one of the reasons why I like doing these tutorials. Uh, if there's anything you want to see specifically, uh, you can send me an email or you can leave a comment on the site, leave a comment on YouTube. And um, I've got a big list of things that I want to get through, but um, I can add your suggestion to a list. Thanks for watching. Check out the Reaper blog for more tutorials and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.